This is a Vadriana horde with the stateless society government type that's hidden deep within the E4 code, but can be formed if you're just a little bit clever. You can stack some insane modifiers in this nation and even has non-generic ideas and missions, so well worth a look. You might know about mine and Tom's planned trip to Ulm if we hit 100,000 subscribers. What you don't know is, we're going to attempt to break a world record. Most amount of EU4 YouTubers in Ulm. Wish us luck by subscribing. Alright, to start off with, you're going to want to play as Oirat. You could technically do this as Uzbek, but you'd have to wait for separatism to go down and culture conversions to take place. So this is the quickest way. Shockingly, you're going to want to uh, become the tributary of Ming. I know, disgusting, but it has to happen, because we're going to attack Karadel. Right, so first things first, declare war on Karadel. Don't worry, buddy, it's for your own good. We do have this insane general that makes things a little bit easier. Though we're planning on winning a war to lose it, and you'll see what I mean in a second. Oh, two siege guy, perfect. It'll help us get rid of Tsang earlier. All right, and there's the, there's the siege one. That was actually really, really quick. All right, we're getting some luck. It's nice. Tsang, what you're going to want to do is get rid of their alliance with Karadel. That's, that's pretty much it. Although, you can take money if you want to do something a little bit sneaky later on. Really love living near an airport. It's fun. You know, you can actually set your time to the, uh, to the airplanes. They come every two minutes. This man just retreated to Siberia. Okay, I'm not going to bother chasing you. I, I, I can't be bothered. All right, you need to offer tribute and give him these provinces. The reason we need to 100% him to give him these provinces is because some of them he doesn't want. But because it's 100% war, he has to accept it. We're just forcing it down his throat, basically. So all the provinces in North Zungaria is the key part. So congratulations, my friend. You've beaten us in, in war. Hard fought that. And now we want to go through and revoke our cause. We're also going to test something on the fly by culture shifting to Kalka and demoting Oira as an accepted culture. So revoke the core here because South Zungaria is also an area in which we can uh, make things move. So once that's been done, we're going to congratulate uh, Karadel on their victory by declaring war on them immediately. Because how dare they? I wonder where those troops are. Are they just chilling up there? They just settled down in Siberia. They've, they're not coming home. They exist somewhere. Right, 100%. Brilliant. So we're going to take back these provinces and these ones as well. Why not? Excellent. And we successfully have no cause on these. Meaning we have Zangar separatists in these areas. But because aggressive expansion is so low in these areas, uh, just because of how religions and cultures and stuff work, we could also do this and declare war on Chagatai. Because they have cause here and they also have stuff in South Zangar. So as it stands, you could set up Zangar here in North Zangaria. These guys will have, you know, the, the relevant separatists. Zangar can happen in North and South Zangar. So we're going to try and go for the motherload and get all of them. Plus, it helps build a coalition against our uh, soon-to-be overlord, Oirat. That was very nearly a disaster. But we get the stack wipe, so it's okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and get the uh, free company as well. They're allied to no guy, so we're going to do the exact same things we did before. You want to attack me? Successfully attack me, apparently. Incredibly successfully attack me. I, you know, I didn't need the mercenaries anyway, really. Typically, with these nations that don't have a fort, you can take a lot of the areas around their capital, sit on their capital, and that should drive their war exhaustion down low enough that you can piece them out. But we need about 10% on him. All right, we've got 42% against uh, no guy, which means we can get rid of that alliance. We don't need all that much war score in the first war. We just need enough to take these provinces. That's uh, 33%. So we kind of went a bit overkill here. Ooh, though getting rid of that Yarkand is probably worth holding on for. Weirdly enough, I'm going to harsh treatment the Zangar rebels just to push them off a little bit more. We don't want them arising just now. We want to fix this first. Get them a bit more territory. Oh, Karadel took a province. Good job, buddy. Really bounced back from that time we smashed you, gave you all this land, and then took it back immediately. That should do it. And, well, you know what we're going to do now. Don't give him a chance to recover, and we immediately declare war again. The aggressive expansion on this will give us a couple of people in the coalition. But we're a tributary of Ming, so what the hell are they going to do? Ah, unfortunately, it's their primary culture, so I can't get them to revoke it. Yeah, the only way to get them to get rid of their cause would be to culture shift it. So, for the most part, this entire war was irrelevant. <laughs> but that's besides the point. It was about setting a message. I was just going to cut this part, but it gives me a chance to tell you how to get more starting land for Zunga. Basically, you would culture convert the South Zungaria area, then get Chagatai to revoke their cause and follow the rest of these steps accordingly. It would just take a little bit longer. I'm just gonna murder them. <laughs> For having the audacity to, to make me look like an idiot on my own video. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for what you've been waiting for. Let's provoke the revolt. Ah, uh, I don't, I don't know why they, ah, uh, 
I don't know why they spawned over there. I'm just gonna see what happens with this. This has never happened before in testing. I mean, if it gives him a core there, it gives him a core there. And there you go, Zonga has a core. I'm also gonna test something on the fly by culture shifting to Kalka. I don't know why they did that there. <laughs> there was <laughs> no reason for that. All right, let's get out of their way. They should now be going to North Zongaria. Again, uh, areas in which they're cool. I don't know. Honestly, it's not even that horrible of an idea to declare war on Ming at this point. Um, and just cause as much damage to them as possible to make your life easier as Zunga. Especially if for some reason you're going to have a random core. Where are they going? Get out of the way. They're doing something weird again. Zunga is going to be a weird nation now, boys. So at this point, we can in fact go ahead and release Zunga, which will get five provinces, which is more than I expected. But if Zunga is going to have this province, I need to probably weaken Ming a bit. And so I'm going to go ahead and declare war on them. And just throw my men into the fires. Again, boys, the point of this is to cause instability. It's not to do much else. If we can kill... Where is he? There he is. If we can target the Ming Emperor here, boys, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Because we'll still get the events. I mean, we're still playing as Aura. It's not a usual... We're not trying to play as an Aura campaign, but we can still do the whole capture the Ming Emperor thing. And we've just got the <laughs> capture of the Ming Emperor. Brilliant. All right, well... Time to go to Beijing. And there we go. <laughs> the reason I released Yan is because I want them to lose Beijing, so they lose more mandate, and that sort of goes down and down and down. Again, Ming having very little mandate means that we could just, you know, do it again. We don't care about our own nation, so why not go to war with them? All right, again, the reason we're doing this is twofold. We want to A, get a lot of aggressive expansion against Oirat so that everyone hates them, and B, we want to weaken Ming so that Zangar can expand. I mean, the Mandate of Heaven CB would be so much more effective at claiming territory and stuff, but you live with what you got. My economy sort of kept afloat by people giving me money. All right, so I've done a bit more damage to them, and in the interest of time, I'm going to release Zungar now. Realistically, you could keep doing this and just smash up Ming, but they've lost their Mandate. They're going to be ticking down. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be good here. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, finally it is time to play as Zungar. Which, for some reason, have provinces everywhere. <laughs> okay, we've started minus responsibility, which isn't, which isn't great. But we can play as a stateless society. Which is quite a rare government type. It's not a great government type, it really isn't. But we could play as it, and so we're going to. Which means our <laughs> company capacity is currently 8 out of 2. Which means our aggressive expansion impact is plus 150%. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this, but it's fun. So in terms of ideas, we actually end up with Oirat ideas, which are objectively brilliant. So that's quite good. Is that... There we go. There's, <laughs> there's this. So we'll see how the coalition will works out. Oh, please don't take my province. I'll be very upset. I will also say that the governing capacity thing is kind of screwed us over in terms of the plus 300%. Mainly because of these two provinces. So we can't actually increase our stability. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. All oh, right. I was also meant to dev these provinces and do all that sort of stuff but instead i've just given oil at 2000 ducats and a, a decently strong position to start with so that's less good well looks like we're going sunny boys <laughs> nothing i can do to stop either of these things well i can increase autonomy which i'm probably gonna do i'm gonna increase autonomy and then i'm gonna make these things territories ah governing capacity is now two brilliant does that mean we can oh we can increase stability oh my god yeah this is insane. It takes him 48 days to tick around one siege thing. Look at that. This is speed five. 75% <laughs> defensiveness. If you stack this with um, defensiveness ideas. Oh god, that'd be awful. Fort defense plus 20%. So it'd be 100% fort defense. Oh my god. Can I just accept these demands? No, I can't wait. Hang on. Sunny becomes new. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Brilliant. Merchants plus one. Sweet. I can't send. I've got three merchants, but I can't send them anywhere. I can send them here. All right. We'll go transfer over there. Brilliant. What a scuffed nation. Yeah, there we go, Mongolia. What the, is my truce up? Sweet. Well, boys, there's peace. And it looks like we have a new neighbor who are guaranteed by <laughs> Caradel. They must feel so safe. And Chaha is a thing as well, which are also our neighbor. Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, they stole a province from me. Oh, a 4-3. Thank you very much. We are gearing up for war. All right, I think it's time, Mongolia, for us to break free, buddy. We got this. Now, crucially, I need this province, and you'll see why in just a second. Oh, 1-5. Zangar's generals are insane. 
<laughs> might be a state of society. We know how to fight. I mean, literally, it gives us, what, a plus 20% to morale or something stupid? Like 15% to morale. To be honest, this is all getting me thinking. What if I did, like, a maximum possible fort defense um, game? You know, where I play as a state of society. I could probably get up to, like, 300% or something stupid. Players like Georgia. And just sit in the mountains and watch them die. What? Char's over here as well. Oh, this is weird. It's actually incredible to watch them try and siege these things. Each siege is 60 days to siege down one of those promises. I'm going to compare it to how quick it is for me. 37 days to his 60. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, I know you'd hate me for this, but here's the thing, Mongolia. I don't care. Now, you might think, late, that puts you so far above your governing capacity. You'd be absolutely right, which is why I need to do this and create my own vassals. Hello, Periatia. I'm going to need you to take a lot of provinces of my hand, buddy. I completely forgot to show you these missions. Yeah, so we can actually do the whole Mongol thing as well. Because uh, we are a Mongol horde, technically. So we can go and reform Mongolia as a stateless horde that is this thing. Which is awesome. It's a really weird nation. I'll tell you that much. This can be seen in the fact that we're in three different locations at once. Annex, and then release. And we have another vassal. And he likes me. Well, you know. Swings and roundabouts. Uh, I was initially planning on taking Chagatai as a vassal and then getting them this land back. But, uh, yeah, I don't like the look of that. So we're just going to take all the provinces because it looks nice. We have taken both North and South Zangaria, our homeland. We've actually done quite nicely. We'd probably go off to Uzbek next and fight that lot. Again, our bonuses are pretty insane. Just to show you what I would do, I'm going to quickly do this. Take defensive enough ideas and you'd take admin ideas. So this is how you'd stack up for your first three ideas because that would help you ease off your governing capacity thing, uh, as you can see here. So you'd be able to actually expand once you get the relevant text and stuff. The admin stuff would also help that um, negative modifier, as well as like a monument down here. You just want more governing capacity uh, percentage, basically. As you can see, it's minus 99% plus 25%. So you get another 25%, I think, from the monument and you're good to go. You're going to be using a lot of vassals, so this stuff's useful. And then defensiveness ideas, because I, I could not resist stacking. In one idea group, you stack two modifiers. Four defense, so you have four defense of like 100%. And then morale of armies plus, what, 25% before anything else is all said and done. So that is gorgeous. That's the nation of Zanga. It's a, a very interesting one. And please, stop sending me messages on Reddit about it. You know who you are. Please. In any case, boys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any other nations or anything else that you want me to, to cover, I would happily do so. The stateless society stuff's really interesting, so I might do a video just on that. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. As we've been saying constantly, if we get to 100,000 subscribers, Tom and I will genuinely be flying to Ulm. So that'll be a thing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge thank you to all our Patreons, in particular Henrique, JDOW52, and Cargon. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, why not check out another video? It's, it's on screen now.